This is independent practice 6.4. All right, let's look at number one. We want to define a variable and then write each phrase as an algebraic expression. Six less than the width. Um, let's have w equals the width. If we knew the width, we could get six, less, six feet less than it. We would just go the width minus the six feet. So let's say the width is w. So my algebraic expression is going to be the width, or w, minus the six feet. And what I just did is created an algebraic expression. Then if the width is 10, we know it's 10 minus 6 is 4. But we don't know it's 10. We don't know what the width is. That's why it's a variable. Number two. Six hours more per week than Theo, Theodore studies. Okay, T equals how much Theo studies. Okay, now we want six more hours. Not six more, not six times, but just six more hours. So let's do T is how many hours that Theo studies plus six. That's six more hours than Theodore. All right. Six years less than Tracy's age. T equals Tracy's, oops, Tracy's age. And we want six years less than that. So let's start with Tracy's age. Take away six, and that's what we want. So T minus six. Number four. Two less than one-third of the points the Panther scored. When I see this word of, I know it's like times. Okay, so I'm going to do one third. Oh, my variable. We don't know what the Panther scored, so P equals Panther's score. Okay, so let's do one third of the points the Panther scored. So it's one third times P. But we want two less than that. So we do one third times p and then take two away because it's two less. One third p, you multiply that together because it says of, um, and then you subtract two. Now, the other thing we could do is you could take the points the Panther scored, and because it's one third, you're dividing it by 3, and then you're subtracting 2. You could do that also. Okay? Okay, let's look at 5. The United States House of, or United States House of Representatives has 35 more members than four times the number of members in the U.S. Senate. Okay. If only we knew how many senators there were. So let's do S equals senators. Okay. So we want to find out what the House of Representatives has. We know it's 35 more than four times. So four times the Senate plus 35 because it's 35 more. So I have a nice little algebraic expression right here. 4 times the Senate plus 35. Let's keep reading. Find the number of members in the House of Representatives if there are 100 members in the Senate. So then S equals 100. So we'll plug that in here. 4 times 100 plus 135. i got to do the multiplication first. That's 400 plus 35. When I do that, it gives me 435 members. Okay. A little tricky. Now, this next one is really tricky. But we'll get it. Okay. Danny uses the table to help her convert measurements when she's sewing. So, for every three feet, we have one yard. Now, if we're going to feet to yards... To get from 3 to 1, we divide by 3. And to get from 6 to 2, 
we divide by 3. And from 9 to 3, we divide by 3. And 12 to 4, we divide by 3. So every time, if you know feet, you divide by 3, you'll get yards. Or if you go the other way, if you know yards, times 3 will give you feet. So let's see. Let's do it in words. Describe the relationship between the number of feet and the number of yards. For every one yard, we have three times the three times let's see, how do I say this? For every one yard we have three times three times that is the feet okay that's not coming out real good let's try this again so um, and instead of going yards to feet let's start with feet uh, or we can we can do this the number number of feet is three times the yards Okay, so you do it three times. You can also say the number, ooh, I <laughs> spelled number wrong. The number of yards is one third, or you could say uh, divided by three of the feet. Okay, so that's how we do it in words. Let's do it in symbols. Write an except a number for the write an expression for the number of yards in F feet. So yards is gonna equal something feet. How am I gonna get to yards? I take my feet, I'm going from feet two yards, so it's divided by three. So I can take my feet, divide by three, and that will get me however many yards I need. Let's do numbers. Find the number of yards in 63 feet. Okay, so now we're going to use this F divided by three. That's my symbols. Now we have a number, 63. So 63 divided by three Plug that in, I get 21 feet. Or 21 yards, I should say. Um, because feet is 63. I'm trying to find yards. There you go. If I have 63 feet, I divide it by 3, I get 21 yards. Okay? So that is how you define a variable and write it into uh, an algebraic expression. Go ahead and try the extra practice. These are difficult. They take some thinking. You really have to stop and think and say, okay, what is it asking? What do I know? What is it asking? What can I make as a variable so that I can get to what they really want? All right. Let me know if you have any questions. We'll keep working. This is important stuff. We will uh, we'll figure it out.